Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the TJ Brutal Customs Aceris Throttle Assembly with Throttle Lock. Check it out! First things first, these are all the pieces that come in the kit. You have the single cable throttle assembly, uh, the body itself. It's a solid brass machine, it's not plated. I get asked all the time, do you plate these? No, it's not plated, it's solid brass. This is a stainless steel throttle lock thumb screw. You've got a little spring here. You have a teeny tiny e kit. You've got a Delrin saddle or shoe and two stainless bolts. Tools needed for this install are needle nose pliers of your choosing, a 964 Allen key, I recommend a ball end, and some anti seize so shit doesn't get locked up. Okay, first thing, you are gonna take the bottom half of the Aceris throttle assembly. And you're gonna to wanna to get here close for this chaos. You're gonna take your thumb screw and the spring, put that on the thumb screw. And if you look at the bottom of the Aceris, you've got two holes. Which one does this go in? Probably need one guess, it's that one. And you're just gonna thread it in there real, real slow. Now, if it's tough, don't cross thread, be gentle. And we're gonna screw this in till the spring itself bottoms out. And that's it. You're gonna take some needle nose pliers, pinch out E-clip, and you're gonna put this on the first ring here of the screw. There we go. And the E-clip is on. Now the next step, we're going to install the saddle or the shoe. That just sits right there. And you're gonna back the screw out until you feel it stop and just be real gentle. That's it, it should look about like that. We have our throttle assembly here. We've installed the throttle lock thumb screw with the spring and the E-clip on the inside. We're gonna take our little shoe, this little saddle looking chingus, set it inside there. It should look just like that, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Get close. Smell it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's enough. So now we're going to come up to our handlebars. We've already removed all the chaos that was there before, and we have our throttle cable here. And you're going to thread this up into the hole for the throttle cable of the throttle assembly, and you're going to screw it in like so. Oh, that was our shoe. I was not mindful of that, so be mindful you don't drop the shoe. And you don't need to screw it in all the way, just to about right there, until it starts to come through the bottom. Pick up that shoe and Ooh, do I get to go on a treasure hunt? Oh, stoked. There we go. Other things in there too, but I'm not gonna pull those out. So we'll put the uh, shoe back on the throttle lock screw, like that. Now we're gonna grab our throttle sleeve. Grab the ferrule in the throttle sleeve. That little guy goes right here. Boo, oh, oh, oh yeah. Beautiful, just like that. And now we're going to slide this onto the bottom. Like so. Now we grab our top half, the throttle assembly. Sit that over the top. Move your throttle back and forth a little bit. Make sure it's not stuck in there anywhere. Take one of our screws, and I like to rotate the throttle assembly forward so I can actually see what I'm fucking doing under here. Put that in there. Get your Allen key. And thread that little screw in there. Now, notice I didn't clamp it down all the way. There's still some play, right? Because we got the other screw to put in. So now we can rotate this the way you're going to have it. You want to orient this so the throttle cable is pointing downward. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of different hand positions and different bars. Some are down low, some are up high. But ideally, you want to set this up to where when you're riding, this screw is easily accessed by your thumb. And that's how you're going to lock the throttle. Before you tighten this down, push it all the way up. It's going to touch the bar inside here. 
back it off the bars a little bit, the whole assembly that way, and then come up underneath here and finish tightening. This doesn't take a lot of power to hold on. There is going to be a gap. See this little gap here? There is going to be a gap both sides of this throttle assembly. The reason we have that gap is so that you can actually clamp this down onto the bars. If this is perfectly flat, there's a point when you're clamping and it cannot clamp anymore. Then you gotta put tape and you know all kinds of stupid monkey business in there. So this is designed, engineered specifically so you will have clamping power. I mean, many bars have different ODs. They're all pretty much one inch, but depending on the plating, the manufacturing, there can be variants. That's why there's a gap there. So now you have a throttle assembly, single cable that you can pull back on the throttle. And if you need to give your handle a rest, you just sit like that. Now this is not so strong that you can't overcome this by pushing forward on it. So if you're riding along, your right hand gets getting a little tired or maybe you need to scratch your nuts, open another beer, smoke a J, whatever you want to fucking do, you know, cause it's a motorcycle. You hold the throttle back, maintain speed and just rotate this screw like that with your thumb. And it's gonna stop. Let go, it holds the throttle where it's at. Now, if there's an emergency, you gotta grab this and slow down, you can immediately grab and overcome the force of the throttle lock. Super easy. When you're done, you wanna take it off, you rotate the screw backwards. There you go. And now, removing problem. And remember, don't be a tool. Clean your tools off when you're done. Wash your dick. <laughs>